So here we are. We've got our source code, we've got all of our tools to build, and we've got our binaries, which run things like the hardware, like the GPS and that sort of thing. So let's bring our terminal back up. Let's get started on building. So here we see the next step in our code here is to use this source build environment setup or this dot build forward slash environment setup dot shell. It does the same thing, dot just means source, source means here where you are, dot means here where you are. So we do that and you see that it's including all of these devices like the device Moto Shamu vendor setup dot shell. And so of course we're trying to build for the Shamu. So this is perfect for us. So now that we have this environment set up, as long as we don't close this terminal, this terminal environment is set up and ready for building. So if we type lunch, now we get a list of all the options for building. Of course, we wanna build for the Shamu, the Nexus 6. So we've got uh, number 16 here that says AOSP Shamu user debug. So we just type 16. Once we do that, now it's gonna start running several scripts to build. So here, this is a good sign. You see platform version 5.1.1. Yep, that's what we wanna build. We're building for Shannon. Yep, that's what we wanna build. Variant is user debug. We'll have to talk about that in a second. The type is a release. And we see several uh, functions that go with that. So now it is set up and is ready. It says, I am now ready to build this Shamu. Now we could have chose anything off this list, um, but of course it's usually better to build for a phone that you have. If you don't have this phone, I still recommend you build this one just to make sure you're set up properly. So you know how to, uh, you know that your environment is, is working and we'll go through the process together and we'll look at a few things as we go along the way. So now it's all ready to be made and we use the make command to make it. Now, again, we have this dash J option where we can assign more or less threads to this build. How Essentially, how much do we want to, um, to put into this? You can see the, the description here. It says if you have two CPUs and four cores per CPU, two threads per core, then you can, you can obviously use uh, like J16 or um, J32. J4 is, is going to say that I'm using just four threads. So it's trying to build four different things at one time. Here we go. We hit uh, the uh, enter button. Uh, we just run with just make itself and it's just going to run with the default, which I think is J4 um, by default. But here it goes, it repeats that yes, I'm building uh, Shamu, I'm building user debug, debug uh, variant in a type release. And now it's gonna go through and it's gonna check to make sure, hey, we have all the right tools. And do we, are there any files we need to include? So it's going through and it's including all of the make files because we typed make to get this started. We have these files called make files that are instruction lists. It, think about getting new furniture and these make files are the instructions on how to put the furniture together. Now think about getting a new house that came in boxes and it's like a prefabricated house and you have to put the whole thing together. Well, you have a ton of different make files or instruction files for each piece. Okay, well, this is gonna be the bedroom and this is gonna be the, the living room and this is gonna be the TV set and this is gonna be the um, recliner and this is gonna be the refrigerator. And so it has to make all of those pieces one at a time, and then it's going to put them all together. And that's what it's doing right now. It's going through and it's including all of the make files that are in all of these various folders. As we go along, I'm hoping this will make a little bit more sense. If it's still a little fuzzy right now, that's okay. We're gonna look at it in more detail as we progress. But essentially just remember these make files are instruction files that tell it what to build. 
and now it's going to go through and include all of those instructions so it knows what all it's going to build. Notice as you scroll by, you can see, see things like hardware application packages, like there's the um, TV provider, the um, photo table, and then it's got things like the pre-built, um, our vendor files, those proprietary files. And you're like, well, I thought those were pre-compiled. Does it need to make anything? Well, it still has instructions of what it needs to do with those files. So make files are just instructions for what to do with those. So now it's looking at various different um, headers and it's actually compiling things. So this is the compile process as it goes. Here we see C++ uh, code being built right now. It looks like it's building libutil32 and it's getting files from system core libcutil threads.c, which is a C file. And it's putting all of this together. So a lot of this underlying code is being built. Oh, yep, that one was successful. It's going to keep building different pieces and parts. There was no errors during that part of the build, so it goes on to build the next piece and parts. Now it's building some Java parts. Here we can see some, you know, uh, Java libraries for Guava library intermediates uh, being built. And so it's just going through and it's going to start building all of the different pieces of the Android operating system. And when we're done, we're going to have some nice system files that we can flash so, um, and put on your phone. So this is, this is really integral uh, to understand that each one of these little parts and pieces by themselves is just one little part or piece or program, or maybe it's a library or maybe it's, uh, it's um, some binary files getting put into the right place, but it's all of these instructions in these make files are telling the compilers, hey, put this together, move this stuff, run these scripts, place it in this folder, and so that way when we're done, we end up with a usable system image or boot image or recovery image or all the different images that get made. So we're just gonna let it run its course. This is gonna take quite a bit of time depending on your computer. Um, since we're building for the Shamu, we're only building Lollipop. If you have like a eight, um, eight uh, processor computer or maybe like a, a CPU with uh, two processors and uh, four cores each um, and two threads per core, this really won't take that long for you, probably be done in about an hour. Um, if you're like myself, when I was building the first time, I was using a laptop, and this process took roughly 11 hours to complete. So just hang in there, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's done.